In this specific video, you're going to learn how to install WordPress automatically by using cPanel. Now, you need to have Fantastico and cPanel in order to do this. Most web hosting companies have this option, but if you don't, you're going to need to install WordPress manually. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to log into your cPanel. And your web hosting company should give you access to your cPanel. And normally it is located at www.whateveryourdomainis.com slash cPanel. And simply enter your username and password. And there we go. So this is the cPanel as you can see here. Now in order to install WordPress automatically, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, or depending on the layout of your cPanel, look for a blue smiley face that says Fantastico, and simply click on it. At this point, click on WordPress, and there we go. If we click on New Installation, this gives you the ability to install WordPress on your main site, or in a subdirectory. In this example, I'm going to install WordPress on the main domain name, so I'm going to leave this blank. If you want to add it into a subdirectory, simply enter the subdirectory folder name right here. This is the admin access data. In other words, to access the WordPress dashboard where you're going to do all the WordPress editing and so forth, this is going to be your username and your password. So you can create any username and password that you would like. And right here is the admin email. So simply enter your email here, your site name and your description. So let's call this internet video tutorials. And here you're going to put your description and one key to remember is if your site is surrounding a specific keyword or a specific word that you're trying to rank on Google, then it would be wise to have it in the site name here as well as the description and to have it inside your description here. So with that said, enter this information and your email address and simply click on install WordPress. And we're almost done. Simply click on finish installation. And that's it. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to install WordPress automatically. Now this information, you're going to need to store it somewhere. So make sure that you store this information to a safe location. But if you open this in a new tab, and you can also email the details of this installation through email. And if you go to the link that we were redirected to, which is basically yourdomain.com slash WP dash admin. And I want to make sure that you know this just in case you need to go to this link in the future. So just put a slash WP dash admin. And this is your WordPress administrator dashboard. So I'm going to enter my username and password and click on log in. And there we go. As you can see, I have successfully installed WordPress onto my website. So if I go to the click on visit site here, the main domain here, as you can see here, we have installed the WordPress site.